We worship the mighty East Ham Turnip next. Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for November 16th. We'll preview tomorrow's East Ham Turnip Festival in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. Uh, the body of a man found in a fishing net off Cape Cod Sunday was properly buried at sea in 2001. According to Cape and Islands District Attorney Michael O'Keefe, O'Keefe declined to identify the man to protect the family's privacy. A Harwich family is temporarily homeless after a devastating fire at their Cottonwood Road home. Fire officials said the blaze, which caused an estimated $200,000 in damages, was started by a candle that fell behind a bookcase. In the Tanks for Nothing department, the median price for a gallon of heating oil on the Cape was $3.21 this week. Last year at this time, the median price was $2.39. Someone, please knit me a sweater. Of course, one tried and true way to keep warm on the Cape this time of year is to belly up to a big hot bowl full of legendary East Ham turnips. We keep them pure. We save turnips out in the field every year uh, to winter over, collect the seed the following year, uh, make sure it isn't crossed with any other kind of turnip um, so that we can keep this strain pure. Now, I understand you have the biggest turnip of the year in your greenhouse. Yeah, we just harvested that out of the East Ham field. We call him Gerard. I haven't weighed him yet, but I'm guessing he's between 12 and 14 pounds. Holy cow, Judy, this is the biggest turnip I've seen by far. What a monster. I can try to pick him up. I don't know how. <laughs> don't strain anything. Well, he's in the dirt to keep him fresh, but he's pretty heavy. <laughs> how does this happen in one year? Uh, I don't know, but every year we get one or two monsters like this. And the East Ham turnip is also a white turnip. It's crisp, sweet, never bitter. People that hate turnips will often eat an East Ham turnip. So when you sit down to prepare a Thanksgiving meal, how do you prepare your East Ham turnip? My favorite way is a simple way. Peel it, cut it into chunks like a butternut squash. Um, steam it or boil it till it's tender. Mash it, salt, pepper, and butter. That's it. Judy's authentic East Ham turnips are available at Stop and Shop, Friends Market, the Village Farm Market, and her Monument Road Farm Stand, all in Orleans. The East Ham Turnip Festival is set for Saturday from noon to 4 p.m. at the East Ham Elks Lodge, just off Route 6. The event features music, games, poetry, dancing, food, and a thrilling new event. Uh, it's called the Turnip Shucking Contest, which is actually turnip peeling. We're just making a play on uh comparing it to the the Wellfleet oyster uh, shucking contest. And this will be the trophy giving, given to the person that can shuck a turnip the fastest. What's the weirdest turnip recipe in this book? Uh, we have turnip latkes. And we have turnip um, chips and turnip buns. I think that's... That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe we've touched on something elemental here, and there's a lot of trouble in the world, all over this big world of ours. Is it possible that if people ate more turnips and played more with their turnips, there'd be more peace and love? Very likely. I think that's a very profound thought. There are people, as we say to people, don't turn up your nose at our festival. Oh, the last poor turnip. I knew him well, Horatio. A fellow of infinite zest, of most excellent flavor. Where be your masher now? Your fork, your butter, your flashes of condiment that were wont to set the table on a roar. Okay, let's turn up the volume in the world of sports. The big Harvard-Yale game is set for Saturday at noon, and right in the middle of it all will be North Chatham's Matt Palamus, Yale's starting quarterback. So I guess we say, go Eli's. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by rainy day video of Duck Creek and Wellfleet. For tonight, mostly clear with a low around 31 for Saturday, increasing clouds with a high near 47, and for Sunday, a chance of showers, mainly before noon, mostly cloudy with a high near 45. Hey folks, check out Sunday's Cape Cod Times for the kickoff of the Needy Fund. Find out about neighbors in need and how you can help them. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for November 16th. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you at the Turnip Fest. Till next time, see ya. Cape Cast.